Hi, I'm Fred McNeil, and thank you for watching QAC TV 7. The name of the show is Conversations with Fred. Each week we bring in men and women from our community, and they share with the stories perhaps what's going on in local government, uh, what's going on in terms of events that are about to take place, or perhaps things are going to happen in the future. But one of my best parts of the show is when we bring in some of the characters in Queen Anne's County to tell us the history of the county. Now, I've been here 42 years, and I know nothing. I have with us today Joe Connor. And Joe, thanks for being with us. I know I Thank got you. you off the golf course and Bonnie <laughs> had you cleaning the pool, but it gives you a break. Joe is a delight just with the stories he has about uh, this county. Having grown up here in the 40s and 50s and into the 60s, I guess, Joe is full of stories. So, Joe, regale us with some of your good stuff, and I'll throw in a question every once in a while. You can start and go anywhere you want. Okay. Well, my name is Joe Connor. I um, um, was born in Easter Memorial Hospital. I grew up in Centerville. Um, I lived in Centerville till 1956 and uh, on Chesterfield Avenue. Uh, my father was um, William J. Connor. He had a drugstore. Uh, he came to um, Centerville from Pennsylvania, Kennett Square and 1945. Now, Jim, let me just interrupt you. One of the great stories I've heard about your dad's drugstore, and you, you, you straighten me out. Bill Moore told me this, my, one of my partners on the tra Ken Island Trail. He said that your store, your dad had a store, would give away every year to a needy child, I believe, a bicycle, and then you, you straighten me out, and one year Bill won the bike, and it was like the greatest thing in his life. So tell me. Well, yeah, uh, my father would do that. Um, he, in the beginning, gave away a few ponies that people Actually, had, yeah. and then... You can the, imagine some parent yeah. with a kid dragging home <laughs> ponies. Yeah. In the uh, old early 50s, he started giving away bicycles, okay. a bicycle to a child. Now, what was your dad's store? A pharmacy? He was a pharmacist. Okay. It was called Connor's Pharmacy. It was there and from 1945 until uh, September of 78. Oh, My wow. father... Um, had colon cancer and closed the store, and he died um, January 26, 1979. Oh, and so that store has been a variety of things or nothing what for a What store long. is it now in Centerville? It's the empty store on the corner right okay. across from Edwards. Okay, right where the stoplight is, so people would right. see that building all the time. All the time, okay. yep. And it's been in business since the late 1800s. And uh, the predecessor was Mr. Doing, and was called Sunset Pharmacy. Okay. Now, your dad was a pharmacist? Or? Yes, okay. he went to Philadelphia College of Pharmacy and okay. Science. And when right. he got out of the Navy, there was no place to go back to. His uh, father and uncle had a store. and they, My father started looking for a pharmacy and found Centerville. Okay. Joe, now, now let me ask you, what always amazes me, we, we were talking before we went on the air. What was, tell me what it was like growing up in Queen Anne's County before the Bay Bridge, before traffic jams. I mean, what was this community like? Well, uh, your big entertainment was to go to Tallchester. Tallchester. Tallchester was an amusement park over near Rock Hall okay. and Betterton in Kent County. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, now this is 40s and 50s. 40s and 50s. Okay. Uh, especially the 50s because when they built the first bridge, a lot of people would still come across the ferry okay. on, to uh, Betterton, to Tallchester. Now, was Tallchester was famous for the dances, or was Betterton? Some Betterton. Betterton was for but, the dances. Okay. Yeah, but Tallchester was for entertainment for kids, okay. like I was. Okay. Um, <laughs> they had all kinds of rides and things there for you. Um, the first bridge was built in 52, and I did get to go when I was really small back and forth on the ferry. Okay. Before the, you had one choice, take the ferry or drive all the way oh, to right. Elkton and drive across. How often would you go on the ferry from Queen Anne's County? Um, Maybe once a month? No, oh, no, I didn't. I might have gone six times before oh, okay. they built. Not very often. So it wasn't a... No. Now, people tell me that people before the bridge, you tell me if it's true or not, just didn't even think about going to Western Shore. You had everything you needed here. Friday I, night and Saturday night in Centerville was a wild time. It was. Okay. Um, yeah, I, we went very few times. Okay. 
Um, like I said, in before the bridge was built, I don't think I went but four, five, six so times. So everything you need growing up was, was here. here. Okay. Now, I'll tell you a little about here for me. Here so, was Centerville. Um, in the 40s, Centerville had a baseball team, the Centerville Giants. Now, is this and the minor league team? Minor league okay. team, and it was at the end of Belvedere Avenue, near where, back of where Chesterfield Cemetery okay. is. That right. lot there was, and I, I didn't, I was too little to remember that, but when they first disbanded, we'd go down there and play Use ball. the stadium? Use oh, the wow. stadium, okay. bunch of kids in Centerville. Yep. So My, had I had an older brother, okay. and he and a lot of people right there that lived next to us would go down. And, um, you know, it, it, it was great. Centerville had everything. You didn't really need to go anywhere else, Fred. Okay. Um, we have a movie theater. Yeah, in downtown Centerville, you had current... And the movie, movie theater is currently where the parking lot for Edwards okay. is. All right. uh, we had a women's shop. We had a men's store. We had two shoe stores. Thompson Drug Store, Thompson and Holland, was next to the bank. And where Edwards was when I was little was called the Great Oak Grocery Store. Okay. And Mr. Thompson moved from the bank down to the corner in 54, I think. So you could buy clothes? There was entertainment? Oh, not only that, Fred, we had two five and dimes. We had Epstein's, okay. which was next to Callahan's. All right. And Callahan's is one of the or only original stores left. So Callahan's was here when you were growing up? Yep, oh, it's, okay. it's here. And then I'll give you a little description of Commerce Please. Street. We had the bank, and then, the, then after Thompson moved down, we had a shoe store. Then we had Latchall's uh, had a jewelry store, okay. Myron Latchaw. Then Herb Goldstein and his family had Foxes. Uh, which, Foxes was here when we moved here in the 70s. Yes. Yeah, and then across there was my dad's store. And then Linwood Yates had a real estate. Okay. And then we had a men's store, Ryland. Okay. And then became Tolson. Bill Tolson's his and her shop, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Then next to that was the great New York restaurant. Now tell me, I've heard it. Is this a steak place they all talk about? Or no? it, it was a great restaurant. Okay. It was, you know. In Centerville. In Centerville called okay. the New York, Tony's New York Restaurant. Okay. Anyway, all, the businessmen all went to lunch there. Okay. And it was there. And then we had. Nice uh, place, Joe. I mean, it's nice upscale. place. Upscale. Oh, upscale. Not up for 1950s, it, it was, was nice. fine. Okay. Um, then we had a bike shop, Kessler's. And then Mr. Eaton had a candy store, and then Callahan. And this is all downtown center. That's just that one block. And then, as I told you, Thompson's moved there, and then the movie theater, and then um, Miss Smith had a women's dress shop next to the movie theater, between the movie theater and uh, the lantern, the blue lantern. Okay, okay. I know the blue lantern. Across the street, Cal um, Ashley's had a gas an appliance store okay. currently same right on the corner family, from family. across from Edwards right. and my dad's store, yep. And that was there when I was little. Um, the post office was right next to my dad's store, a little post, which moved to the Acme. When they built the Acme, they made uh, part of the Acme was, was the, the post, post office oh, wow. until they built the built current the post one. office. Okay. Yeah, it was all there on Water oh, Street. People tell me... Now, you could give me the facts. Friday and Saturday night, everybody went downtown? Or Saturday well, night they or did. The farmers come in. They oh. would go to the drug store, get their medicine, go to the grocery store, do their shopping. Um, Centerville was busy on Friday and Saturday so nights. park downtown, is that correct? Well, it, it was oh. too crowded, Fred. Okay. I mean, it just was... Were the streets packed with people walking? Uh, oh, yep. Oh, yeah, right. People were everywhere. Now, what did the kids do? What did the teenagers do? Well, we went to the movie theater. Okay. Was there a bowling um, alley there, too, or not? Huh? Was there a bowling alley there? Yeah, oh. underneath. Underneath. I okay. never bowled down there, oh. but it, there was one. Okay. And then, um, you know... In the, the think about it, we had a lot of um, small grocery stores um, 
in the 50s. Uh, Someone said there's three grocery stores downtown? Well, there used to be Beskett's, which was on the corner of Chesterfield and Liberty. Okay. And then Earl Draper, where the optic... uh, Gallery is, right. Where that is was Earl Draper's market. Okay. And then uh, the Goat family had a market at the bottom of Chesterfield on the right-hand side where there's one new, those houses are now. So there used to be a gas station there. Okay. And I think it was just one pump. But the, go- the goats ran a uh, little uh, market there. and um, So you had everything you needed right Right, there. yeah. I mean, we had, Fred, we had eight gas stations. In Centerville. In Centerville. Mm. You'd start coming in on... Um, 213, the first one you'd see was Dick Wharton's, which was on the triangle there between old Queenstown Road. Where and you two, had his garage for you. Right? right. And it's still there. Then you'd had um, the Sunoco station where the current Sitco station. Okay. Jump had a golf station next to there. Then when you drove up to what was gas? 33 cents a gallon or something? 19, Fred. <laughs> when I first drove. Yeah. Long time ago. Um... The Sunoco was the cheapest, the 190. I had uh-huh. a little Corvair, a 1950 oh, wow. Corvair, very cheap. Up, yeah. Loaded it up. One, I'd go and get a dollar at a time, <laughs> five <laughs> counts. And you could ride forever, right? <laughs> yeah. Then uptown we had, um, which is a garage right now, but it used to be a gas station, was Pippin's right there on Commerce Street. And on, on Broadway was Thompson's. Okay. Bobby Thompson and a bit, had a uh, golf station up there with a garage. And next to that, his brother, Bill Thompson, had a car dealership. You could buy Brand new cars. Chrysler. Yep. My father bought a, a few cars. Well, that was a high-scale car, Chryslers, correct? Yeah. Well, yeah. we bought Dodges. Oh, okay. But that yeah. was still yeah. a good car. Yeah, Dodge and Plymouth. Yes. And, yeah. yeah. Yep. Hey, Joe, let me ask you. Let me uh, keep moving around here. So, Senator was a thriving community. We're right. talking about three grocery stores, eight gas stations, men's shops, women's shops, you name it, you got it. Some of my favorite stories are you Centerville folks and the Ken Island folks, there's a rivalry. And Bill Moore tells me the story about sports battles. They had to play the games during the day because they'd be fighting. Well, yeah. Tell um, me about Ken Island in this episode. Well, <laughs> you know, uh, Queen Anne's County was three separate Maine. For new people, we had Southernsville had high school. Let me start yeah. from the, the south. Your story. The, you had Stevensville. Right. You had Centerville and you had Southernsville. Okay. Centerville was the dominant team when it came to sports. We usually won over most Ken of the time. Over Ken Island. Really? Stevensville, yes. We were better than they now, was were. That, was the population up here in those days? Or yeah, it was. Centerville's population was 900. Okay. To give you an idea, our class, my class at Centerville was 80. We had 80, 80 students. 80 students. Your senior class. The senior class uh, the year before me in Stevensville, there were 32 people. Oh, Stevensville so was small. Oh, wow. Sudlersville was small compared to Centerville. So the county seat but, was where the population yeah, was. But we, if you think about it, we had less than 400 people in grades 7 to 12 okay. in the building that's now the Board of Education. And the old Centerville High School. The old Centerville High School. Right. You go there from 7 to 12. Was there, I mean, growing up in Queen Anne's County, again, 40, was there a rivalry with Ken Island? Were oh, of course. Oh, oh yeah, it was in Sudlersville, but more with Stevensville. Okay. And, because it, they were, they would get upset if they lost. If they lost. Yeah. And they did lose, okay. but uh, it was a you know a few people like yeah. any high school good, they do comments. things yeah they do things. Joe, were people from Centerville? I mean, was there an attraction to go down to Ken Island for something? Or I did not go there to do anything. Okay, so there was nothing for teenagers to do. Well, no, um, maybe a girlfriend or something. Well, a yeah, 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 I did go down there for a girlfriend, but um, <laughs> to make uh, you could stay right in Centerville. So there's no reason. And, there. For me, I would, before I'd go to Ken Island, I would either go to Easton or Chestertown. Now, Easton because it was bigger. And Chestertown because it was bigger. Okay. Now, Centerville played Easton and 
Chestertown and Rock Hall, oh, and we had I, yeah, rivalries we with all those schools. Okay. Now, Rock Hall didn't like to lose either. Now, someone told me, is this true? It might have been Bill One of the teams, either Sellersville or some, one of the northern counties, they put Vaseline on the backboard or something. Have you heard of that? I heard that happened. I don't <laughs> know it for a fact. Okay. But, you know... It was fun. It, sports. Whatever they did to sports. The well, sports was you know, great. Me, I'm sorry. Let me interrupt. So, okay, Centerville, bigger than Ken Island, bigger than Stevensville Middle School. How about Southersville? Was there it was even smaller. Okay. Um, Southersville, I don't know. They probably had 40, 30, 40 kids in the class. Any reason a person growing up would go to Southersville? You, that's where you were born and raised. That's, I mean, that's the way it was in Queen Anne's okay. County. If you lived... In the northern part of the you county, you went there. to Sutlersville. Okay. If you lived be below the Graysonville, below there, you went, went to Ken Island. Yeah. But the, there was no reason for teenagers to go to those spots. No. no you got now, you Queenstown went, came to Centerville. Centerville. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, who, can you, since we're talking schools here, Centerville High School, any old teachers you remember that? Tickle your funny bone or coaches or someone, a name or two, some of the old timers might know. Or... Wow. How many teachers? Uh, my favorite teacher okay. was my sixth grade teacher. Now that Her name be... was Betsy Cecil. Now that would be Centerville Elementary. Elementary. Same place? We have it well, now? Well, no? I started uptown in elementary school where the current public uh, health, department health department is. Oh, that was, the, that school was the grammar school. Okay. Uh, up until the uh, late 50s, and then they moved it to the current location. Okay. uh, Down on Homewood Avenue there. So you had that one favorite teacher at sixth grade. Yeah, she kind of got me to uh, realize that I needed to do my homework and do (laughs) things. So she she was special to me, yeah. Um, How about high school? Any coaches or anybody that rings a bell? High school, uh, Mr. Selby was the baseball coach. Okay, now he's the gentleman that went to the high school and won a state champ. Um, mm-hmm. One of the things that amazes me, now Joe, Bill Young, uh, there was a number of state championships won by Centerville High, am I correct? I believe, yeah, I don't know the number. Okay. But they, they were very good. They won, they, um, when I was in high school, we had two years where we didn't lose a baseball game. Didn't lose we were game. undefeated. And Selby was a coach. Yeah, okay. and um, there were... Uh, I saw a couple no, no hitters thrown. Mm. It, it was amazing. It was real good. Ba- well, really baseball good. Baseball was America's sport then, right? Oh yeah, oh, in yeah, the fifties yeah. and say, oh yeah. And, and this, okay. uh, these kids were, you know, farmers, whatever. They boys. come and play baseball, and they were good. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, I guess you had a minor league team. You had Selby doing high school baseball. So baseball was the king of the. Uh, yeah, and we had, of- had a lot of little league. Oh, here we had a lot, of, had a lot of little league. Okay, we well, had the rotary, the lines, the okay. fire department. I mean, you you played for, you know, that was a big activity here in the fifties. Was little league. Joe, let me ask you. Uh, people I've talked to who grew up like you do said uh, I always ask them, well, what was the biggest change in Queen Anne's County? Without it, everyone says the Bay Bridge. They completely. Do you agree with that or no? I think the second Bay Bridge the second was. Bay Bridge. Okay. More, uh, it opened up Ken Island. Okay. Ken Island didn't change when I was growing up. Oh, so 1952. When the it, first even bridge. though the first bridge was built, it really didn't okay. change while I was right. here. Okay. The bridge that changed it was the one that was built in '73. The second, so the commuters and came that, to play. Yeah. The commuters came, and Ken Island exploded. What must have Route 8 been like in the 40s and 50s? When well, you in, the, in the 50s and 60s, it, it wasn't anything Nothing there, Fred. There. You just drive down to Robico. There wasn't much there. No, how, very, no, okay. no, no. There was nothing, Fred. Was that Farms. Farm? That was farmland. Farm. Yeah. So none of the communities that we have now. Were, oh, some of those were built in the late 60s. A lot of them were built in the 70s. Okay. Yeah, that are currently down there. So it was just basically farms. Yeah. How about, what was old Stevensville like? Did you oh, it was a very small town. And it was, would you I mean, there? you had primarily two streets. Uh, Stevensville Nothing. had a very small high school. I mean, it... And smaller well, than, again, Centerville. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Yeah, there wasn't anything in Stevensville. No reason to go to, yeah. <laughs> to Stevensville. What, how about, now let me ask you, how long, uh, you've lived here most of your life, how long till the Ocean City traffic became like it is now? I mean, it dominates our lives from Memorial <sighs> well, Day to... Well, Fred, yeah. the Ocean City traffic started when they built the first bridge. 52, mm -hmm. okay. 52. People realized they could get, get across and go to the ocean. Well, I remember my parents and, taking me. And uh, yeah. when I was working in D.C. In, in 71, I mean, it would back up 10, 12 miles on okay. the weekend. On just the one bridge. Okay. On the one, because you only had one lane. Oh, right. And you had to, back then, you had to stop and pay tolls pay both toll. ways. Okay. Yeah. Um, Did that bother the residents of Queen? Was it an issue locally? I, mean, I that, think it was for the older people. It wasn't okay. an issue for me because no. the only thing that changed me, I didn't, wasn't going to go on the ferry anymore, okay. you know? And, you know, I didn't get my license till the 60s, so that bridge really didn't... Didn't make any difference. Didn't. The second bridge made a huge difference okay. because it brought a lot of people over here. And the, and the amount of traffic okay. that came over on the weekends, of course, increased. Ocean City grew in the 70s oh, exponentially oh, wow. but they had to come through queen anne's county to get there and um queen anne's county saw a huge growth in the ken island area right. now centerville didn't grow that didn't much change. uh Sudlersville hasn't grown now subsequently years later they built Northbrook and they built Symphony Village. As Centerville but grows. until those two were built, Centerville didn't grow. It didn't change, much. did it? No. no, it didn't change. And now that we're talking about developing the Carter property and doing, you know, who knows? Yeah, um, mm. <laughs> yeah it, it, it changed. But if you look at downtown Centerville, it really hasn't changed much except. The businesses are going. Right. Unfortunately, we had a terrible fire in 1968, and, and, it and it burnt. It, oh. it destroyed Draper's, the liquor store, um, Edwards Pharmacy, the movie so this theater. This the whole downtown area. That whole block there, from one corner to what caused the, it? Do they know? I don't know. They, don't, they, they, don't know. they, they, there was a lot of suspicion about the guy that owned the liquor store, but <laughs> he needed the bailout. <laughs> uh, but I, that, I don't know anymore about that. The biggest thing, the fire department grew big after that because they did. had no <laughs> equipment to put the fire out. Oh, Lord. What they did is they sprayed water, from what I've been told, to save the rest of the town. So they sprayed my father's store, they sprayed oh, Ashley's, it, it wet, yeah. and they sprayed uh, Fox's okay. at that time. Now, Joe, let me ask you, do you have a Ra Roscoff connection? The man that built the Empire State Building. I know your property. Is there a connection? <laughs> Most well, people don't know who he is, even. Well, Raskob, uh, unfortunately, I never. Uh, he died when I was really little. But um, now, this is the man to help the audience. Built the Empire State Building. One right. of the richest men in the history of this country. He's very wealthy. I don't know his exact wealth, but he did build the Empire State Building during the Depression uh, in 29 and 30. He, um, in the early 20s, he bought Pioneer Point. Okay. And it's around 1,500, 2,000 acres. This is where and the Russians have their compound now. Right. And the Russians have 40 acres of that. Oh, okay. And, it's, well, the State Department now. Okay. And, oh, um, it's empty. The Russians aren't back yet. No, they're no. not. No. I don't know whether, I don't know anything about Well, you that. have quiet neighbors, right? Yeah, we have no neighbors. Joe lives right next to the Russian compound. Okay. My father and mother uh, bought the uh, property in 1956 from the man at Funkhauser who had bought it from Mr. Raskob. Okay. We built the first house on Pioneer Point that Did Raskob know? didn't build. Oh, is that right? And Did you know his children or any kind of... I know his grandchildren. Grandchildren. And okay. I knew two of his daughters. I mean, this is a man who ran a presidential campaign in 1928 for Al Smith. Yep. Uh, here's a man who built the Empire State Building. Now, is this true? I was told that during the Depression, I know before your time, Raskoff basically put the town of Center on his payroll building. Is that true? He did. He built yeah. all those buildings, houses. Okay. And for the people that worked for him, Fred, he built gave them a house to live in. Oh, really? So over on Grove Creek, part mm -hmm. of the uh, 
part of the farm there. He had his taxi driver, his plumber, his painter. Yeah, Bill, well, Young, Bill yeah. Young's father, George Young, George worked Young. for Mr. Raskob. Okay. And Bill worked while he was living there. And um, he um, lived over there in one of those houses. And they had a blacksmith, an electrician. Really? Oh. So whatever he needed, he had. He, he had. also had a manager of the horse barn, a manager. He was manager. a man who ran DuPont. He, the, the, yeah, on, he, he was king of, the, king of the kingdom, right? I guess. I mean, unbelievable. Joe, let me ask you this. We've got just a couple more minutes left. Yeah. Is there, can, I mean, I can imagine growing up here in the 40s and 50s. must have been Shangri-La. I mean, or not? It was for me, yeah. Fred. I, like I said earlier, I, my first part of my life, I lived on Chesterfield Avenue. When we moved to Pioneer Point. Where the Board of Ed now is and the yeah, Mother right Sorrows Church. Yeah, right across from the Board of Ed in okay. the house there at the end of Broadway. We moved to Pioneer Point. I had no friends. I didn't like it. Because you're way out in the country. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's only yeah. four, four miles from Centerville, but mm -hmm. it felt like 40. 10,000, sure. And it's a long way to ride a bike. I bet it is. So, uh, but I fell in, I got, fell in love with the water, went to Corsica River. Piece yeah, of property. Your this swimming thing. pool overlooking uh, the river is just magnificent. Yeah. Magnificent. Thank you. Um, and I fell in love with the water. I learned to ski. I learned to sail. I went, I had a wonderful a life growing, growing up. up here. I couldn't have asked better. Um, I had two wonderful parents and Centerville was just great. I had an older brother and he and I grew up here. We worked in my dad's store. I worked for 12 years for him and uh, it was the best experience I could ever have. So it was great growing up in the fort. I mean, it I've was. raised three children here and it was perfect for them. We didn't have to lock the doors. They could walk to school. Fred, it was I beautiful. My mother didn't even have a key to her <laughs> a house. A key to your house. Uh, no, we didn't lock back then. Um, Growing up in the 50s, which is my, and the biggest that I remember in the early 60s was, it was just a wonderful, wonderful place to live. I bet and it was. I, I, I thank, and it still is, which is nice. Yeah. I thank God that I was able to grow up here and to be able to experience it. Um, we had great customers. I enjoyed the people of Centerville. Um, I can remember one man... My dad had a policy of just charging, and he bartered. Some people didn't have cash, so in, we would yeah. get asparagus, we'd get sure. oysters, we'd get oh, crap. Right. Didn't cost my yeah. father. They didn't have yeah. any money, and okay. farmers didn't have a lot so of cash. So they give you produce or whatever. Yeah, they and or they run a ticket, and mm -hmm. so anyway, um, one man came in one time. He said, "Just charge it." And I said, oh, there's no use charging. You got to pay for it sometime. <laughs> My father beat it out of the uh, behind the, the counter. counter and said, you can't say this gentleman. I saw him oh, five or six, maybe more than that, 10 years ago. He reminded me of me saying, that. saying that he remembered it. This said, reminds I've me never of forgotten. Atticus Finch, right? And uh, <laughs> to kill a mockingbird. Joe, look at our time's about up. I want to have you to come back again. When we get Bill Young healthy, I'm going to get you, Bill Young, and Bill Moore. And by the way, give them a Bill Young principal of Queen Anne's County High School, Queen Anne's County resident. How about a 30-second update on Bill's health? Bill's health is he's making progress. He's moving his arms. He's um, sitting up. He's really been through an awful lot. And he right? had COVID night, right? He's he had the COVID. Through. Then he got a um, gilliam Barron syndrome, okay. which affects your muscles and he has been fighting since january and but he's coming back he's coming back good and old my Queen wife Anne's talked County to boy. him on the phone the other day oh, terrific so she said he sounded great well good well he, joe look at let me i'm gonna interrupt right, i'm gonna leave now thanks for coming on we're gonna have you yes. come back at later in the summer <laughs> and like i said we get you bill young and bill moore and i'm just gonna sit back and laugh my head off by the way how's the golf game it's good. Okay, which is good. Yeah. So guess what? Thank We're you, almost Fred. Done. Thank you, Joe, for coming. My name's Fred McNeil. I really appreciate you being with us. Thank you for your time. My time's up, and we'll see you next time on QAC TV7. Thank you.